Hello and welcome to another update video about NetGas. So very, very interesting chart at the moment. I think we are still in this um, wave two as suggested in the previous videos. Talked about having a local ceiling here at the um, resistance here. We identified that in the last video. Talked about um, this is a uh, resistance level around the $7 mark here. Um, we've, we found resistance at the previous wave A high, so couldn't really push through yet. Certainly not a super strong signal. I um, It's not entirely clear to me if this wave two is already over. Because we could have a small ABC in here, like an A, B, C. Yeah. Uh, no, one second, that was wrong. Uh, C. Yeah. So this, this is absolutely possible. And we could now be breaking down from here in a one, two, and maybe would get a strong sell off signal next in a wave three. Or the wave two can also push a bit higher. I mean, it hasn't reached a level yet where it would be unrealistic for a wave two. Let's just look at the FIP retracements. So we haven't even reached the 78.6% FIP level. Could even go a bit higher to the 88.7, but at the latest there, I would expect the move down. So actually, I think having ABC already in is for me the little bit more likely option. So yeah, wave two could be done, to be honest. Um, it should certainly not, ideally not move above $7.07, .07, and it should absolutely not go above seven thirty three. Well, if it does, then the alternative wave count will get live, and we talk about that in a minute. But overall, I think this is certainly a scenario from where we can break down um, in wave three. It's a very, very decisive area in which we currently are. As I said, a little bit more upside possible, but then we should break down in to maintain this current wave pattern and would most likely come down deeper here um, to the downside. And we need to be, I mean, we need to be ready here for, for a serious sell-off because if this indeed is a wave one and this indeed is a wave two, the wave three could be quite impulsive. I don't even know if this green area is going to be bearish enough. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look at FIP extensions because I mean, we can only hold the green area if this last leg down will be an, a diagonal pattern, but you would normally expect for a wave three if it's impulsive, the $7.74 level, uh, $2.74 level, and then a wave four up and a wave five down. This green area is only based on the higher level wave count, so the lower level wave count here actually suggests an even more bearish outlook. So it could be interesting for some people who might want to enter a short here. We'll see. Uh, but this is now a very decisive area. So I'm looking forward to seeing if we can finally react to it and get down in wave three. That would be my primary expectation. We will know more about that as soon as we drop below $6.16. So if we get below this level, which could be a small wave one of wave three, um, that would be the confirmation that we are in the wave three of three. And we already see some nice red candles here. So let's see if this is actually going to work out. Um, if we, however, break really above this $7.60 level there, then the alternative wave count will get live and we see a little bit of a stronger recovery, ABC, and would then make another low. I don't think we're in a breakout uh, situation here. Technically, the theoretically, of course, possible, but my view at the moment from what I can see in the chart, especially because of this corrective mess that happened here, yeah, my view is still we should see further downside, and especially if we look at the indicators, I mean, very interesting is the four hour chart where we actually um, avoided a bullish crossover. I think that is very, 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 very telling. Yeah, tells us a lot that this is not really bullish what we're doing at the moment. It clearly avoided a bullish crossover. So unless we see another push, this is most likely going to turn down in my opinion. Um, what is the next really decisive one here? The daily, well, the daily is still pushing up, but but obviously it starts sort of on the one hour, yeah, where we're already seeing the bullish momentum decrease. Um, on the four hour, we see an avoidance of a bullish crossover. And if that now turns down, as the chart might already suggest, then this will have a negative impact on the daily as well. And we could get quite quickly a bearish crossover here because even the RSI isn't really pushing to the upside. So, um, and very importantly, if we look at the longer time frames, really, um, I mean, the weekly is moving up already. I mean, we're getting close to the end of this move down, yeah? But what I think is very relevant, I looked at that um, a few days ago after my last video, we've got a bearish crossover on the MACD, um, on the monthly. So you can clearly see that this is significant. Um, unless we can bring that up again, which I don't think we can now because the cross crossover happened. 
um, hey, Barish goes over on the MACD on the monthly. That is significant. And that would just confirm, and this is really a long-term indicator, but the last time we had that, we moved, uh, when we crossed, you know, on the, on the monthly to the negative last time, we moved down between January 19 all the way down to April 20 and lost quite a bit. Yeah, only when we then had the bullish crossover, this is when the uptrend started. And now we've got, um, for the first time since then, a bearish crossover on the monthly. I think we are, you know, it is too early to talk about a substantial recovery. I think in the next few weeks and months, we could see a serious sell off here that would uh, be supported by the monthly MACD. Interesting market. I don't think we can be bullish yet. I am generally bullish on net gas long term. But uh, not yet. I think we're going to see some serious price moves to the downside. And if these targets for the wave three, for example, are correct, that I just gave you that we might even be more bearish in the green count, we can look at a 40, 50, maybe even 60% reduction in price before we go high. It will be very, very, very interesting in the next few weeks and months. Okay, that's my update about NetGas. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.